Hello everyone. Today I'll be solving this hard level puzzle from the New York Times. Please try solving this yourself and let me know down in the comments, did you think this was hard? Now it's my turn to solve this and to get started, I'll start with the number one. We have a number one here and the number one here. So that's easy. This has to be a one. Okay, that was easy. There's a one here and a one here. So any of these three cells can be a one. So I'm going to leave that alone since I like to use Snyder notation, at least in the beginning of solving a puzzle, only marking cells if the number is restricted to two cells in a block. Now, since I just placed this one here in block three, I can pencil in ones in block six here and here. Looking at block four, I can pencil in ones here and here. Okay, so the ones in block four are locked into that column. Column one and column two has a one in it. So now I can pencil in ones in block seven here and here. Let's take a closer look at the number one. There are lots of ones already placed. We have a one here in block one and block two, and block three, and in block five. Can that help me? Let's see. Ah, look at this row. None of these cells, none of these cells can be a one because all of, because of all of these ones, right? So the only cell that can be a one in this row has to be here. This, by the way, is called a hidden single since there are other candidates for the cell, but not for the row. In this row, it's the only place a one can go, so I can place the one here. All right, let's move on to the number two. We have a two here and a two here. So these three cells could be a two, right? So I'll leave that alone for now. I don't see any more twos. So let's go on to the number three. So we have a three here and a three here, and this three intersects into block eight, but that's not helping us. What about the number four? Okay, this four here and this four here means that we can pencil in fours here and here. What about the number five? We can pencil in fives here and here. Oh, wait, there's a five here, so that can't be a five, so this has to be the five. So now we have a five and five, so let's pencil in fives here and here. Anything else I can do with the number five? Let's see, five. No, I don't see anything that I can do with the five, so let's move on to the number six. And I have a six here and a six here. All right, so we have this six here and this six here, six, six. No, I don't see anything I can do with six, so let's move on to the number seven. Okay, I have a seven here and a seven here and a seven here. So where can I put the seven in block four? Well, it can't go here and it can't go here, and it can't go here. So the only place it can go is here. So now I can pencil in sevens in block one, here, and here. And in block three, because of this completed segment in the top row, and the seven in row two, I can pencil in sevens here, and here. Now in block nine, because of these two intersecting sevens, I can pencil in sevens here and here. But since they're locked into column eight, then this cell in block three can no longer be a seven. So this has to be the seven. And once we place that seven, then this cell in block one can't be a seven. So this must be the seven. And let's get rid of this seven. And now we have lots of sevens, seven, seven, seven. So we can pencil in sevens here and here. All right, let's move on to the number eight. And we have an eight here and here. 
So we can pencil in eights here and here. Is there anywhere else I can place an eight? No. What about the number nine? We have a nine here and a nine here. That doesn't help me in block nine. Let's look here. Okay, we can pencil in nines here and here. Now, since those candidates are locked into column one, then when I look at block one, there can't be a nine in column one. There can't be a nine in column two because of this nine. So I can pencil in nines here and here. And now in block three, these cells can't be a nine. So I can pencil in nines here and here. Okay, what else? Um, if I look at the top row, I can see that I have one, two, eight, nine, and seven. And then in this column, I have three, four, five, and seven. So the six is missing from this row and this column. Sometimes that's not easy to spot, but I got lucky. And I can see that all the other numbers are accounted for, so this cell has to be a six. That's not always easy to spot, but if you see a row and a column that intersect and all the other numbers have been accounted for except for just one number, then that's an easy number to place. And if you spot it, you are good to go. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, so now looking down at block seven, I can pencil in sixes here and here. Mm. So what else? Oh, here in block three, I have two nines penciled in, right? So the nines can only go in these two cells in block three, and that's called a pointing pair or locked candidates, whenever you call them, whatever you call them. So it means that this cell can't be a nine. So let's remove that. And in column one, I have nines penciled in. Again, that's locked candidates in uh, column one, right? So the only cell a nine can go in is here. Now, does that help us at all? No, doesn't help us. But looking at column three, we now have just three cells remaining. So what's missing? We're missing a one and a two. So let's pencil that in. And then we're missing um, an eight. So this cell can't be a one or a two, so it has to be the eight. Let's see what we're missing in the top row. There are only three cells missing numbers in the top row. So what's missing? A three. So this cell can be a three, a four, and a five. Notice that I penciled that in using center notation instead of corner notation, and that's to show that I'm referring to the cell and not the block. So there can be a three, four, or five elsewhere in that block, but that cell can only be a three, a four, or a five. And then this cell can either be a three, a four, or a five. And this cell can be a three, four, or five. Speaking of fives, there's a five here in block three. So I can pencil in fives in block one here and here. And those are the only two cells in block one where a five can go. Remember Snyder notation? So I'm putting those fives in the corners. And now that means that no matter which of these cells is a five, there has to be a five in column one. And here in block four, there's a five in column three. So in block seven, the only place a five can go is here or here. Let's look and see if we can pencil in any more candidates here in block two. What are we missing? We have a one and a two. The three can go in a few places, so can the four and the five. What about the six? That also can go in more than two places. We have a seven, 
the 8. So the 8 can go only into these two cells, right? So I can pencil that in here and here. What else can these cells be? Wait a second, this row needs a 6, and it looks like the only place a 6 can go in is into these two cells in the row. It can't go here because there's a 6 already in the block, right? And it can't go here because there's already a 6 in this column. So the only cells a 6 can go in in this row is here and here. And so now I have a 6-8 matching pair. Remember matching pairs? So the other cells in the row are not 6 or 8, and this cell can't be a 6 or an 8. So what can this cell be? It can only be a 3, a 4, or a 5. Okay, and I made that center notation because that's the cell reference. Let me look again at the sixes. Here in this left stack, there's a six in column three and a six in column two. So where else can a six go in column one? It can go into either of these two cells, right? But this cell can't be anything else but a six. Let me see. It can't be a one or a two because of this one, two matching pair. And there's already a three in the block can't be a 4 because of this 4. It can't be a 5 because of these 5s up here. They're, lock, they're locked candidates, right? So it can't be a 7, 8, or a 9. So the only number this cell can be is a 6. And now this cell can only be a 5, just like before. This can't be a 1 or 2 because of the matching pair. And it can't be a 3, 4, 6, seven, eight, or nine. So the only number that's left is a five. So now this is not a five, so let's get rid of this pencil mark. And now this block still needs an eight, so I can pencil that in here and here. We have a one, two matching pair and a four, six matching pair. And in this row, I have a one, no, I have a four, five, six, and eight. And in this column, I have a two, three, seven, and nine. So what can this cell be? Let's see, it can't be a two, three, and it can't be a four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So the only number that can go into this cell is a one. And now that resolves this one, two matching pair. This must be the two. And then this must be the one. And now column three is done. So now that I've placed those two ones, let's see where one can go in column nine. And because of all of these ones, the one can only go here. That resolves this pair of ones in block six. So this can't be a one. So this is the one. And I can get rid of that pencil mark. So now I have all the ones placed. And now in this row, I have three cells remaining. So this cell can be a three, seven, or nine. So let me pencil that in the center. And then this cell can be a three or a nine. And then this cell can be a 3 or a 7. Looking at column 5, there are three cells remaining. Since I know this cell can either be an 8 or a 6, what can the other three cells be? Well, let's see. The column is missing a 4, a 5. Well, this cell can't be a 5 because of this 5. And this cell can't be a 5 because of this 5. And this cell is either an 8 or a 6. So the only place a 5 can go in column 5 is here. And now let's see. Looking around, 5, 6. OK, in block 3, the 6 can go into two cells now. So let's pencil that in. 6, 
and 6. What else is missing in this block? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this cell can be either a 3 or, <clears throat> or a 4. And then this cell is either a 3 or a 4. So this cell is either a 3 or a 4. And so now, since I have three candidates locked into column 8, then this can no longer be a 3. So this must be a 7. And then if that's the 7, then this has to be the 8, right? And that resolves... That 8 resolves the 4-8 matching pair in block 7, right? That can't be an 8, so it must be a 4. And then this is the 8, and block 7 is done. And now this can't be an 8 anymore, so let me get rid of that. And this can't be a 4 anymore. Now looking across this row in block 1, what can these two cells be? We're still missing the 2, 3, and 4, so this cell can be a 2, 3, or 4, and this cell can be a 2, 3, or 4. Wait, that can't be a 4 because of this 4, so this is the only place a 4 can go in block 1. And that resolves the 3-4 pair in block 3, so this must be the 3, and then this is the 4. So, if that's a 4, then this can only be a 3 or a 5. So now, looking at this row, we have a 6-9 locked into these cells, and this is a 3 or a 5, so what can this cell be? It can be a 3 it can be a 5. It can't be a 6, 7, 8, or 9, so these two cells are either a 3 or a 5, and they can't be a 2, so this cell has to be a 2. So if that's the 2, then these cells are 3 or 5, then what's left in column 1? Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8 and 9 are missing. So let's pencil in an 8 here and an 8 here. Looking at column 2, there are two cells left. This cell can be a 2, and this can be a 2. And the column is also missing a 3. And that can't be a 3. So then this has to be the 2, and then this is a 3, and column 2 is done. Let's see, this row is missing a 5 and a 6, so the 6 can go here, and we're missing an 8 in this row, right? So this cell can be, an, this cell can be a 6 or an 8. This cell can be a 5, 6, or an 8. And this cell can be a 5 or a 6. Okay, so that takes care of this row. What do we have down here? This cell is missing a 2. It can either go here or here. And the block is also missing a 3. So this cell can be a 3. And what else is missing in this block? We have a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're missing the 9. This can't be a 9, but we can have a 9 here. So we have a 2, 3, a 2, 9, or a 3, 9 in this block. Remember, I'm using center notation when I'm referring to a specific cell, and those are the only numbers that that cell can be, but it can be elsewhere in the block. When I use corner notation, on the other hand, that refers to the block, and those are the only cells in the block where that number can go.
That's why I like putting the puzzle into this website. It's www.f-puzzles.com and it lets me use both corner notation and center notation as well as highlighting the cells if I want to. It can't be a 1, it can't be a 2, no it can be a 2, 3, 4, 5, can it be a 6, yes it can be a 6, 7, no, 8, yes, it can be an 8, and it can't be a 9, so it can be a 2, 6, or an 8, and this can be a 2 or a 9. And this can be a 6 or a 9. Does that help? So there are no naked singles here. Now we've placed a lot of numbers and it's a good time to stare at the grid and see where most of the numbers seem to coalesce. So, okay, so here, if we look at this cell, you can see that in the column, column 5, there's a 1, two and three, and then there's a four in the row. And then back to the column, there's a five, seven, and nine. And then there's an eight in the block. So the only number missing from the row, column, or block is, can you see it? Do you see what number is missing? It's a number six, right? So I can place a six here. Okay, that was nice. Um, Let's see, what else can this cell be? It can be a 4. It can be an 8. So now in this column we are missing... Wait, this can't be a 6 anymore, so this has to be an 8. And then this is the 4. And so now this has to be the 6. And this can't be a 7 anymore, so it's either a 3 or a 9. So if that can't be a 7 anymore, then this has to be the 7, right? And we have a 2, 3 here in the last row. So what can this be? Ah, also a 2, 3, a 2, or a 3. All right, looking around, I see a 4 here and a 4 here. So the third 4 in this group of rows has to be here. Okay, are we done with the fours? Um, no, we need a four here in block eight, and it can go here or here. So actually, what can this cell be? One, two, can this be a two? Yes, so this can be a two, and this can be a two. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. We still need a nine in this row. Uh, can these be nines? So let me pencil that in the center. This cell can be a two and a nine. Oh, and a four. And this cell can be a two, four, or nine. And this cell can be a two or a nine. It can't be a four. We filled that in previously, right? So now looking here in block three, we have a six nine matching pair. And looking down column seven, I can't have a six here because of this six. And there's a six in block nine, so these cells can't be a six, only a three or a nine. So this cell is the only cell in column six that can be a six. So I can place that here. And now that makes this a nine which means this becomes a 2. So now I can get rid of this 2 and I can get rid of the 2 here and the 2 here. 
So now this cell can only be a 4 or 9, and this can be a 4 or 9. That means this can't be a 9, so it must be the 3. And then this is the 9. And so if that's the 3, then this is the 2. And this is a 3. And now I'm just missing a 2 in this column. Okay, what's missing in this row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're missing an 8 and a 9. But this cell can't be an 8, so this must be the 9. And then this is the 8, which makes this a 9. All right, progress. 5, 6, 8. Well, this can't be a 6 because of this 6, right? Oh, these two cells can't be 3s anymore because of this 3, so let's get rid of that. This can't be a 3, and this can't be a 3. So now that means this has to be the 3, and then this has to be the 5. Oh, and then this is the 4, which means this has to be an 8. And it looks like everything's unraveling now, right? And then this has to be the 6, which means this is the 8, and then this is the 5. And now, because of the 3's that we just placed in the top row, then this has to be a 5, and this has to be a 3. And now, what are we missing? Well, this can't be a 4 because of this 4, so this has to be a 9, and then this is a 4, right? Which makes this a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're missing the 2, and the puzzle is done. Not too bad, right? Although this puzzle was rated hard by the New York Times, I'm not sure it was really that hard. It just takes a little thinking through, but hard, I don't know. What do you think? I'll do a couple more hard ones from the New York Times and then move on to some other sources for even harder puzzles. I am planning some more lessons on Sudoku strategies, so please stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. To help my channel grow, I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Bye.